Hi, I'm Doreen Black from the Royal Wolverhampton NHS Trust, where I am the Divisional Head of Nursing for the Surgical Division, here celebrating Black History Month with NHS BT. Part of my role is to oversee in a leadership role areas such as intensive care, surgery, theatres, trauma and orthopaedics and I line manage a group of matrons who provide leadership for senior sisters and work very closely with senior sisters on those wards and within those departments. I've always wanted to be a nurse ever since I was very young. I had two aunts who were nurses, one of which my Aunt Lynn, I always used to see her in a uniform and she used to tell me about things that she did as a nurse and that kind of gained my interest in becoming a nurse. So from a very early age, it was kind of a passion of mine even going through school. When they spoke about different careers, it was still something that I really was passionate about doing. I believe being a diverse NHS is good for um, the patients and the staff working within the NHS. We need to have diverse leadership also in the NHS so that all communities feel that they can be confident in the care that they are receiving and the health care that's being afforded to them. I believe diverse teams um, produce better outcomes and I think it will produce better outcomes for patients. I think it will ensure that people from um, the black or Asian community will have confidence in the people who are caring from, for them because they can actually see people who look like them. It's acknowledged there's a shortage of black people who want to donate blood. However, if you stop and think, you probably know somebody who has been the recipient of a blood transfusion. So you probably know someone who's actually undergone surgery you probably know someone who's had a baby. Often post delivery, the mother might need to have a blood transfusion because she might have lost quite a lot of blood during um, childbirth. People who have had surgery often need to have um, a blood transfusion, either pre-surgery, just to make sure that their blood count is what it should be. Most of us know someone who's actually been touched by um, blood transfusion, so, I'd encourage anybody who's actually in two minds, have a think about the people who you know who have actually benefited from a blood transfusion and think to yourself, if no one had a volunteer to donate blood, what position would that person have been? Their recovery would have taken a lot longer and they may well not have recovered to the degree that they have done.